I'm Sally Schulze inside the Field Museum, a place known for its huge dinosaurs like Maximo. But we're here learning about a mystery uncovered inside the tiny, tiny ears of bats. Its skull is on the order of a large blueberry. Of course, what we were looking at is the ear structure of that entire skull, and that is more like a poppy seed in size, uh, tiny. Using the vast collection of bat specimens at the Field Museum, researchers looked at the inner ear of thousands of bats using micro CT scans. In new research out this week, scientists announced that many bats evolved to have a completely different inner ear structure than their fellow bats and unlike any other mammal like us. This allows them to take their echolocation to the next level. That's the way they emit high pitch squeaks, then use those sound waves to navigate and find tiny insects and such. This discovery, it's shaking up decades of what scientists thought they knew about bats. So it, it's almost like finding a needle in a haystack in the sense that uh, there are so many different faces and ears and sizes of these bats. To find one character that ties them all together is, is very satisfying. So why should we care about a bat's inner ear? Well, Dr. Bruce Patterson says they are crucial to our planet, especially agriculture, because they are so good at pest control, and this deepens our understanding of this important mammal. At the Field Museum, Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.